Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Pam, uh, better known as Miss 58. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and extend a welcome to anyone that's new stopping by. And of course, those that are real turning. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, before we get into this tutorial here, it's just a simple everyday get ready with me. I don't do anything major or drastic, but while I was getting myself together for the day, I thought about why not go ahead and film the process. No big deal, right? Okay, so let me give you guys a heads up. Uh, just in case you hear any noise in the background, that's, I have the window open next to me. Uh, so you possibly could hear traffic or, you know, any other random noise, you know, going on in the background. I do apologize for that, but I don't want that to be the reason why I don't put this video out. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get, it, get started with this video. So... As you can tell already, I've already done uh, prepped my eyebrows. I got them out of the way already. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids. And I always use my uh, Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in the shade Medium uh, to do my eyelids. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I don't know about anybody else, but was it? really cool where you guys live at uh, last night for the last couple of nights I should say um, you know because I had myself officially uh, turned off my heat um, I don't like being hot you know what I mean so because we've been having some pretty decent days here lately now all of a sudden we having this burst of cool air that come through and that's fine and dandy Hey, that's spring, right? Spring is definitely, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Unpredictable. That's spring. So what else should we expect up from that, right? So meanwhile, after I've already primed my lids, I'm going in with my uh, Sasha Buttercup uh, setting powder here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, set my eyelid. Okay, don't need a lot of that. Just to go ahead and set it so we don't have any creasing going on now I'm also setting my brow bone area because I've already um, took care of that problem too uh, with some darker concealer a little darker than what I was already using for my eyelids and that was uh, LA Girl Pro in the shade fine that I defined my brows with so just so you guys that would know, and uh, be sure to know that I will make sure everything that I use will be in the description box below. So I'm going to work out of a simple um, face palette, if you will, because I'm, the look I look is going to be so simple. I'm just going to run some bronzer uh, over the eyelid. Let that be the reason. But I'm working out of the pure palette um, here called Dark Deep. Okay, I did receive this in a uh, boxy charm box, and even though I've been having it for a few months, and I've never actually used it, so uh, it does have a mirror on the inside. I was taking the plastic off, and these are the shades here. So, like I said, nothing major. I'm just going to run through my transitional area with some little bronzing powder, if you will. Um... You know, and I'm tapping into two different ones, the burnt orange and the light brown. And I'm just going to graze that over the eye. Like I said, we're not doing anything drastic or major. Just to add a little color to the eyelid and the transitional area. Just like that. No more than that. Okay, we're keeping the eye look simple. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and prep my lashes. Okay, and I always wear the uh, Salon Perfect lashes that I get from Walmart. And then they're in the number 615. Uh, these are it here. So, um, I've actually already had a pair in my uh, little lash case here that I keep my lashes in when I've used them because uh, I do uh, get multiple wear out of my lashes 
Uh, but you know, it's time for me to pull out a new pair. And so um, that's the reason why I showed you guys uh, this new set I'm getting ready to apply. Because it's time for a new pair to be popped on. Okay, so while those are getting tacky, I'm going to go ahead and run a little mascara through on my lashes. And I'm using the uh, Lily Lashes mascara here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this. I don't apply much on either eyelid. Excuse me, on either eyelash. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes. And I generally use my finger. Every now and then you'll see me use some tweezers. But for the most part, I generally use uh, my fingers to put my lashes on. I just find it easier to do for me. Okay, one lash on here. And I'll be right back after I apply the other one. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, as you can tell, the lashes are on. But anyway, I'm going to go into my NYX uh, color correcting palette here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and apply a little color corrector on these uh, dark circles I have here. Again, now I've already applied my moisturizing primer over the rest of my face. So I'm going to tap into this and just add a little bit of the color corrector here. Now, I never go directly under my eye with my color corrector. I'm, I find that it works better by doing it this way. And then when I get ready to press the product in, I press the product in, uh, moving it towards the under eye instead of applying it directly under the eye. It just works out better for me that way. That way I ain't got to worry about a whole lot of uh, creasing and you know, uh, lines under the eye with wrinkles and things of that nature once I set it. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and blend this corrector out. And I always do a light tap under the eye when I uh, push this product into place, like you see here. I try not to never swipe under the eye. Um, we don't never want to do that if I can help it. Okay, now anyway, I'm going back into uh, my uh, True Complexion uh, bronzing palette here. And this is the cream one. So I've tried this technique a couple of times and fell in love with the finished look it gave me for my face. So that's the look I'm, I mean, excuse me, that's the technique I'm going in with today. And plus, it allowed me to use less product. So, I'm going to go ahead and dust a little bit of this uh, contour cream in the hollows, uh, the cheeks of my face. Okay. I always add very little. I, don't, I try to add very little. Um, because, again, I don't like using a lot of stuff and having my face being overwhelmed with a lot of product. Uh, I'm one of those old girls, honey, that I don't mind using the product, but less is more for me uh, on the face, and I like my eyes being the statement piece. So I'm going in again with, uh, with this uh, blush stick here, and this is the one by e.l.f., and uh, to apply this to, to my cheeks because it give me a little color to the cheeks without adding blush after the fact. And so... I'm going ahead to blend this out right along with the contour cream I had already applied. And when I tell you I like the way that this had came out the first time I tried it, I'm like, oh my goodness, I couldn't believe that, right? So I'm going in now to apply my foundation, which is by Fenty uh, in the shade 380. And get this blended out as well. Okay. I try to add as little as possible of foundation, but it looked like, you know, I don't want kind of crazy squeezing out the tube. So let's go ahead and get this blended out. I sometimes wonder if um, this is the correct shade for me. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, 
or what other kind of color shade I should have went with or give a try. Because when I tell you it's hard trying to match your skin tone um, with, with foundation, especially when you're buying online like I do, uh, you know, I kind of struggle with that a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get this blended out and tap over around the perimeter of the brow at the top. Now, as you notice, I did not go up under the eye with this foundation. Um, I kind of leave that area specifically for uh, concealer and um, color correct at all possible setting powder. Uh, like I said, I want as less creases as possible under that eye. Now, right where I have already applied the contour cream and the blush, you can see already uh, with my foundation is pretty well blended out, which is the look I was going for. Okay, so now let's go in with this concealer, and I do use a uh, two. So again, the concealer I used on my eyelid to highlight, I'm also using um, under the eye to conceal. Okay, I generally do just four little small areas, as you see here, under both eyes in the bridge of the nose and the chin. I, I apply very little product as possible. Now, I'm also going in with uh, a shade I use here by Beauty Bakery, and it's a little bit more of a deeper brown, but I mix that with the lighter shade I've already applied um, because I do like the highlight. Um, I just don't want it to be over the top bright, and that's the reason why I go in with a darker shade. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with the opposite end of my blender, okay, and bring that down the center of my nose, and now I'm going to go in and lightly tap this concealer into place under my eye. Now once I've tapped that into place, I turn the opposite side, the butt end of my sponge to blend out any harsh lines so that and the rest of my face and foundation all look like it's into one okay again i'm gonna go in with my sasha buttercup powder and set this and hit the last two areas i had highlighted here okay done with the setting powder here so now I'm getting ready to go into some face powder and I'm going in with the uh, L'Oreal Infallible um, face powder here and I'm going to take one of my blending big uh, face brushes and I'm just going to tap into this and blend this all over the face to finish setting the foundation, um, the contour cream. We setting it all in one easy sweep. Okay, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go into another powder, favorite of mine, and this is my Milani powder. And what I'm going to do with it get a smaller blending brush here and this is where I'm going to define only the bridge area on both sides of my nose and I use very little and make sure it's going right into the brow area so I'm going to take my sponge and just tap over that a little bit just to soften the, the contour area the bridge uh, that I just did of my nose just go in and do some setting, okay? We have to set this face and get rid of all the powder, okay, that we have already uh, applied. Now, generally, I was using uh, my Maracuja Mist uh, by Tarte because it's real fine, and I do love that. But today, I'm going to go in with some SU uh, setting spray. I've been having this for a while, so why not go ahead and get uses out of it as well? Okay, so I'm lightly... Spray my face, then I'm going to take my sponge, and I'm going to tap that setting spray into place. I 
Okay, guys, only thing left to do is put a little color to these lips, and we are done. So, um, but actually, I'm going to go in with, um, and define my lips, I'm going in with a uh, random uh, brow pencil, excuse me, lip liner, <laughs> brown lip liner here. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this random uh, lip liner. Now, I normally go for a good matte lip. Um, I love a matte lip. But today, I don't plan on doing much of anything. Just a couple errands to run. So today, I'm just going to go in with some gloss. Very little gloss in this lemonade gloss here. And I think it's by uh, Dominique Cosmetics. Uh, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to the lips. Okay, so that will be it. And this here has just a small tint to it. But it's enough to keep my lips moisturized. And that's all I need for right now. So, um, this look is done. Pretty quick and simple. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, Miss Pam was not going for anything major. I never go for anything major. Just keeping it simple. It works for me every time. So, uh, but again, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, I do want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hopefully, you stuck around to the end of this video. Uh, don't you guys forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I know I don't mention it much, but it would help me out a great deal if you did. Okay, so without further ado and help holding you guys up any longer than I've already have, I'm going to make sure I leave everything that I use down in the description box below. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if there was anything I could have done differently or that you would have liked for me to have given a try. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, and I'm willing to step outside the box and try that, uh, within reason, of course, because, hey, this is the old girl here. I don't need to be running around looking like God knows what, okay? So, with that being said, guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in, and hopefully you will continue to stick around, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.